Happy Monday, everyone. We have another great feature for you today. Well, they're the rock stars of logistics and they're all women. Check out our spotlight on the ladies of logistics. Now, one of the things that I did, you know, love is it is a minority group and I love it. The majority of our group is made up of minority women, but we don't discriminate. We have women of all different backgrounds and we work with anyone. And again, we do work with men. However, this group is solely for the woman in logistics and transportation. Just not talking about trucking, like we need to talk about self-care, you know, spending time with your family, how knowing how to balance all of it. So we have a lot of fun things coming up. It's just not gonna be all work for us because the four of us, we don't believe in just all work. I can relate to it. I've been a single parent with four children and it's hard when you're the one that's the, the breadwinner, but then you have kids at home. When do you make time for the family? So those are the, some, some of the things that you are offering some of the ladies on how to learn how to balance that. Showing them how to hire help. You know, the four of us, we had to start building out our teams and hiring help because again, it gets very stressful. Like I went through a situation for four months that I didn't, I didn't know what was going on with my body and doctors couldn't tell me. And a lot of it went back to stress. So it's like, we're trying to help these women avoid some of the very things that we experience. So what are some of the other things that you are offering the ladies? We offer our monthly calls, our monthly mentoring calls, self-care, building your credit, your personal and your business credit, time management, how to manage with your family. Some people are making the transition from nine to five corporate jobs and trying to make a transition into doing this full time. Um, so it's just kind of like making sure that they have the foundation, the education and whatever tools that we can find. We all don't know all the answers, but find the answer or, you know, find a company or find an individual that can come in and speak to the ladies to assist them um, in getting what they need. That's that's basically what it's all about. We talk about ups and downs and we, we, we're sure to celebrate wins. So in our Facebook group, people drop, hey, I just got my new authority. Hey, I just booked my first load. None of us had that when we started. It was just like us and pat yourself on the back and keep it moving. So Ms. Vanessa, with your talents, girl, you're about numbers and all that good stuff. What is it that you are wanting for the ladies to also learn? Transportation is the new shiny object, right? Everybody wants to jump in and everybody wants to get on and everybody wants to be a business owner, but no one wants to operate like they're a business owner, which means you now you gotta have your financial back office in place. You gotta have your financial foundation in place. Now you gotta, you know, can't be commingling funds. You gotta register your business, get your, get your checking account. Don't be mixing things together. Get an accounting system and be prepared to pay taxes. You just can't get into business until that you're operating a business. We want to be as successful as our male, our male counterparts. Let's just be honest, like when you go out and you look at most fleet owners, you look at most trucking companies, both small and large, they're usually men that aren't minority, right? So Ms. Samantha, what are some of the things that you've enjoyed while doing all this, um, being able to help other, uh, other lady drivers that are, you know, jumping in? We help women that are freight brokers as well, dispatchers. There was a school teacher that came to our class. She's now, you know, has a handful of shippers. So just seeing that like transition where people are like so hesitant, you know, from leaving the corporate world or leaving their full time job and just feeling confident enough that the information that we're providing them will give them the right steps to follow. When they go to one of your classes, what is it that some or what should they expect? to walk away with. Unfortunately, with the COVID pandemic, we did end up moving into a online portal. So FreightBrokerPortal.com, where they can go and now register. Just like being in person, we took so much time um, developing an amazing course. We actually have um, videos that we actually, like if you're sitting in class, I mean, we recorded videos, there's downloadable PDFs. Um, that they can, you know, take with them. But just really, like I said, everything that it takes to become a, a successful freight broker. That's actually pretty neat. Go ahead, go ahead, Miss Tristan. The four of us, like Sam said, she and I, we teach the freight broker course, which is for brokers or agents, or even a trucking company that just wants to scale up. Um, Tawana teaches a really good intense dispatch um, training with a, a heavy emphasis on the box truck because a lot of people are coming into the industry starting with box trucks. So those are the courses that we offer. But in the mentorship, we actually have, right now I think we have 12 mentors within the leading ladies. It's not just the four of us. So in addition to us, we have 12 other mentors. And those topics that we're gonna cover on the calls, we have our monthly calls um, and also an app for the, for the ladies. Like 
it's a whole lot of topics, not just transportation and logistics. We will talk about all of those things too, how to set up a back office and some dispatch terms. And we'll talk about different things like that. Each, each coach, you know, they have their session on what they will present. But individually, like I said, we each do offer a service to the public um, within the transportation and logistics industry. Where can they find you if they want information and they have other questions that maybe I didn't get to? First, they could visit our website. It's uh, www.leadingladiesoflogistics with the X. I'm on IG, Twitter, and Facebook as at Lady Logistics and LinkedIn as well. That's it for today's feature. Tune in Wednesday for another great story.